in this video, I'm gonna show you some simple tips, tricks, and just kind of dive into using some of the extra content that KindMaster has for their video editing. So I'm gonna click on a previous project on the right, click on the edit button right there. And now the one thing I'm gonna talk about that has been a time saver for me has been using what we call as a duplicate button. So if you have, let's say for example, something you're going to repeat several times throughout a video, but you're not gonna do it um, the whole way through. You're gonna do it maybe in the beginning, towards the end, let's say text. And you have a title in the beginning of your video, telling everyone what you're going to be doing. And then you have a title at the, or uh, thank you at the end, or a title at the end. You wanna use the same exact text, color, everything. You can simply just duplicate it. Instead of having to layer a new text every time with the same shadowing, same outline, it gets kind of tedious and time consuming. All you'd have to do is click on the text and you look in the upper left-hand corner, there's three dots. I click on those three dots, you'll see the duplicate button. I click on the duplicate button, I just duplicated that text. And all I would have to do is take it and slide it anywhere I would want in my video. And now I have it. And I can also simply just now take it and change what I would want to write. So very simple. I change it. And now I have that. And once again, I can move it anywhere I want. But a simple little tip instead of having to redo it and do the text again and all the other extra stuff that, you use, that you've used to make it consistent across the board, just duplicate it and slide it wherever you want it. Super easy time uh, and it doesn't take up too much time at all. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is whenever you are adding uh, music and let's say you want to say something. So like for example, this right here, um, if I have music playing in the background but I want to say something real quick but I don't want my voice to be drowned out. I can click on the recording and then that's where my voice starts. And then I click right above where the music is. I hit the scissors and I can simply split it. And then I'd click on the audio again, slide it to the end of the audio and click on that again for the music click on the scissors and split it again. Now, why did I do that? Because right here, let's say I'm not talking. I want the music up nice and high, nice and loud. But when it hits this part, when I start to talk, I don't want it so loud so that people can hear what I want to say. I would click here now because this is completely separate. I can turn the volume down even more so it's easy for them to hear me. And when I'm done talking, I can now go back to my normal volume again. So it's an easy little thing I can do, talking about splitting and trimming the different parts, but just something simple and easy that we can use. Now let's explore some of these extra things, extra content. I'm gonna go into layering. So if I click on the layering, um, let's talk about the stickers. So there's so many things you can add into here. So there's lasers, which I've used before, you know, so for example, everything you're saying, very easy right there. I can also hit the layering and for the sticker, I mean, there's so many things. Um, I can add shattered glass. So for example, I'll move it over so you can see it easier. That could be a good transition. I've used a transition like that where I've simply shattered it and then it moves to a next part of the video. Um, I can also add handwriting, depending upon what size I want. Uh, I can just simply trace whatever I want. And same thing, you can see right here, that's how long it would last in the video. I can make it longer, shrink it, whatever I want. I can move it around anywhere I want on the video, uh, just like anything else. Super easy to be able to add into. Uh, next thing is, uh, if I wanted to access my uh, more content, I'd go to the booth right next to the check mark, click on that. And now I can simply go through any one of these things because I have downloaded the and purchased the premium aspect. So I have so many things I can access. Um, and it could be seasonal things, holiday things, anything you want to make it like that. 
Um, if I like something, I can click on it. If I want it, I download it. It takes like two seconds. It's not very long. And now that's in my library for all my effects. So it's just that simple. Uh, I can also go to any type of music I want and they have different types of music. And like I said before in a previous video, I think the music's actually pretty good. I've used it in a ton of my videos. And if you don't have a lot of uh, music on your iPhone, uh, this is a great thing that you can use as well. Some of the different things you can also add, like an applause. I mean, there's sim simple effects you can add. You can go through this. There's so many things you can add. Um, and just simply just download it. And now anytime you want to access that, that's in your sound effects. Um, there's so many little things you can add, like little animations. Um, it, I mean, I could sit here for hours and talk about all this animation stuff. And I'm not going to lie. I don't use a lot of that type of stuff, but I've used so many different types of stickers, as you can see. Um, if you looked at any of my videos on my YouTube page, um, you can see and recognize some of these uh, in the past. Um, but yeah, that's a simple little thing you can add. There, it's so cool. There's so many things you can download onto it. Uh, I can't stress how awesome that is. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a tip for, let's say, for example, if you want something to slide across the screen. So if you are doing an activity where you want to jump and avoid something, you can do that. Uh, I'm going to show you that right now. So I'll delete that out of the way. Delete that. And let's say I wanted to bring something across the screen. So I would layer it. I would click on the layering. I click on the media. And I'm going to click on a photo. So I am going to go to one of my video. I'm going to go on that. So right there, I would have uh, my pumpkin. Now, what's cool about this is this pumpkin I got off of uh, Google. I just Googled it, pumpkin green screen. And now I can do the chroma key, which I have in a previous video. So if you look at the chroma key button, I click on that chroma key, enable it. And now I got a pumpkin right there. Now, how do I transition it across? Let's say I want to go across and make it bigger. I start it right there. And now I can transition it. So I want it to go across the screen. All right, I can go any direction I want. So I can go right there. So if I wanted to come in, enter to the left, slide into the left, and I want to exit the same way. Exit left. So if I played it, it would come in just like that. Now, if I wanted to go faster, I would shrink the amount of time I want it to actually be on the screen. Just like that. So that's how I can go across. Now I can do it the other way and bring it to the right. Just something to think about when you're making or adding an object onto your screen and you want to move. Now I could also do it where I can turn it and bring it that way as well. So just something to think about. I can also move it any direction I want it to go, how I want it to enter, but that's also involving your animation, which we've talked about before. So just something a little trick you can use when you're adding something onto your screen that you want it to move or move around. Uh, just an animation you can use simply adding some animation. Uh, and like I mentioned before, I've I got some of these stock photos on, I just Googled, you know, like for example, pumpkin, green screen. Simple. I can take it back off, take it back on. It's just that easy. It's an easy tool. Instead of you trying to find something and crop it out, uh, there's a lot of good resources that you can find on Google. Like any type of thing you want, really, for the most part. I haven't really been, uh, haven't had a hard time finding any type of uh, objects to put in my videos. Just something you have to explore. Um, those are some simple tips and tricks I've used in my videos. Um, there's so many things you can definitely do, but hopefully this helps a little bit. Adding a couple things, time consuming things uh, with the text, I have to say, was something, uh, it was like a light bulb. It took me a long time. I'm afraid to admit how long it took me to find that duplicate part, but uh, it is definitely a time consuming as opposed to having to re type in the same text, same color, all that stuff, adding the animation, bringing something across your screen, uh, exploring the different types of um, things that are inside the extra content. I, like I said before, I'd highly recommend purchasing the premium version if you're going to be doing a lot of content, creating a lot of videos. It is something I would really recommend doing just because there's so many things you can access. If you don't have the premium, it is kind of limited, I'm not going to lie. 
So those are just some simple things you can add on to your videos. I hope this helps. And as always, if uh, you have a question on something or something's kind of holding you up, just please put something in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Thank you.